welcome back to my channel! Today, I'm gonna show you how to declutter your makeup kit. I want to simplify everything. I'm gonna show you the products that I consider essential. Just keep on watching! with my makeup kit or my makeup bag. So this is my makeup bag. I got this from Rustans. This is just a simple bag. I like it because it has a handle. When you open it, it's a zipper. There's a little compartment, zipper compartment here. This is where I keep my makeup brushes, my eyeliners, mascaras. This compartment here is for like my makeup. And there's also a little secret zipper here where you can put your your money that's my makeup bag but before anything else let's start with the brushes I have so many brushes here this is not even complete guys I have more at home the question is do you need everything <laughs> do you need 50 brushes in your life yes if you're a makeup artist but no you just need four brushes in your life and you can survive so for me the four brushes that i really need are one is a powder brush you need a powder brush a fluffy powder dense brush like this this is my favorite from Kind Beauty, but so fluffy. This is for your powder or your loose powders. And then a blush brush. This one is another favorite. These are my personal favorite, guys. And these are the brushes that I bring with me when I travel or in my kit, okay? So this one is from Bare Minerals. It's a duo brush. It has a blush brush. And then the other end, it has a eye blending brush. I like this because you can also use this for your powder contour. You will just like press it like this and you can apply it as your contour. And then just clean it before you apply your powder blush. And another one is a contour blush for your nose. I like to contour my nose. So I need this. It's a small flat brush. And you need a blending brush. So like this one. Blending. Right? You need four in your life. Like, very important brushes. Of course, the eye. For the brows. Of course, you need a brow brush. So this one. Flat, slanted brush like this. It has to be dense. The best brow brush for me is a combination of synthetic and natural hair. And I really like this. This one is from Sephora. So, actually five! And you're good to go. And this is my kit, right? So, let's open it. And I put it in this area here. If you have a brush guard, it's better to keep your um, brushes in shape. For your makeup kit, you need a moisturizer. If you already have a moisturizer, you can actually skip the primer because you already have a good base for your face. I don't usually use primer. This one is from Clinique, their Moisture Search. And it's good to have the travel size for, uh, you know, it's smaller and you can travel with it. Next is a good foundation for your skin type. If you have oily skin, go for matte foundations like this one from L'Oreal. It's their Infallible Pro Matte. I love this so much because it covers but it still looks natural. And it's lightweight or a CC cream. So usually I bring this. So foundation or CC cream. CC cream. So you have your foundation, your CC cream, and then of course you need a concealer to cover up the blemishes, discoloration, redness. For the concealer, either a liquid or a cream concealer. This one is from L'Oreal Infallible. This is comparable to Tarte Shape Tape. 
I will have another video for that, guys. A comparison of high-end versus um, the affordable one, like boobs, for the high-end products. So watch out for it. Or a cream concealer. I prefer cream concealer. I just depotted this to a small container for Alicia Bold to see how small this is. The one I have here is the Naturactor Face Cover something in shade 151. Next, you already have your moisturizer, foundation, concealer, then of course, you need a powder to set your face. So either again, a compact or a loose powder. This one is both from RCMA. It's actually the same thing, but this is compact. This is loose. This is not the actual container. I put it here. Just um, swipe and then... I prefer loose powder. So loose powder here. Always remember guys, you set your face, whether you're oily or you're dry, especially with our weather. Because later on, anyway, it will set rena and it will look natural. And also to make your makeup last longer. After your powder, I usually do my brows. A brow pencil or a brow powder. This is my all-time favorite brow powder. It's affordable and so a very good product. And I think I've finished na maybe four, five. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. My current favorite is the Easy and Co Brow Pencil in shade Ash. So I'll put it in the other apartment. That's it for the brows. Brow pencil alone, brow powder alone, or with your brow gel. Next for the eyes, you really need a black eyeliner. So this one is from Maybelline Line Tattoo. I like this because it's waterproof and I have small eyes, I have Asian eyes, but this one was much nako, so that's why I like this. And it's very black, I'm gonna show you. You can make a very sharp wing with this. Brush. Mm. Nice. Eyeliner. Or if you want, you can also use a pencil, but I prefer liquid eyeliner. Next, eyeliner and eyeshadow. Actually, eyeshadow first than eyeliner, but I forgot to bring my eyeshadow palette. You actually just need three or four shades, and then you're good to go day to night eye makeup look. So I'm just gonna put a picture, a link here. Just need four guys, you don't need to bring the very big one. Anyway, you won't use it, diba? I mean, you <laughs> I know you will just use a neutral color or earth colors, the right? peach colors. You're not gonna use green or blue, the right? Maybe if I don't know. And after the eyeshadow, eyeliner, then of course mascara. So you need a eyelash curler here and mascara of your choice. I always go for waterproof mascaras because they hold my pearl better. And the smudge, so it's safe even if my swimming feel me warm. But anyway, I like waterproof mascaras. It's hard to remove, but I don't mind, okay? Let's go back to the face. So now, a contour powder for your nose and for your cheeks to make your face look slimmer. This one is from Cargo. You need a matte brown contour powder. Stay away from reddish brown. It has to be neutral brown or grayish brown, but not too gray side. Like, just not too dark side. This one is nice from Cargo. Or if you prefer a cream contour, the BLK Multitasking Stick in Cocoa. I just like powder because it's easier and shot to use. done with your contour, basta clean your brush after. So you can use it for your blush if you want to use a powder blush. So after your contour, blush. Either a cream blush or a powder blush. This one is from Anastasia. I like this because it's convenient. It's nice because you have three shades. So depende on feel that day, diba? You have three choices. So that's why I like this. And it's compact, it's small. See how small that is, diba? And you already have three shades. And this one is the pink, pink fashion. So that's the powder blush or a cream blush. This is my favorite from Sunny's face because it's a mirror and um, it's small. You can just put it in your pocket. 
if you forgot your lip tint, you can use it as your lipstick or lip tint. And you can also use it in your eyes or you like this. I'm gonna do a review soon. This one is in the shade Disco. I prefer cream blushes for everyday use, but I also like powder. I'm gonna show you. And watch out there guys, I have a new review coming, affordable products from Focal Yours. They have really good products too. See the blush? Mm, the blush fresh. So with just one brush, you can do your contour and your blush. That's it. And highlighter, of course. The you look more light, posh, and less fresh. Your skin will glow even if you apply it. Nabutan ako. Diba? Di mo shine ka. So that's why I love highlighter because it will make everything look next level. For highlighter, either a cream or a powder. It's actually your preference. Creams and liquids are kind of better for more natural look. And then powder for more um, bonga look. And I will show you why I love this. This is also an affordable brand from Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> My products are not sponsored, okay? I bought them myself. These are the products I think that are essential. It doesn't have to be these brands, but whatever you have, long good. Last not the least, your lip products. So, Lovely Cosmetics. This is my favorite lip tint. This was given to me and I really love this. This is in the shade and Influencer. If you want a lipstick, this is one of my favorites from Sunny Space. This is Girl Crush. This will look good on any skin color. Again, for the lips, um, lip tint or lipstick up to you or if you want a uh, lip gloss or lip lip balm on top for that glossy glossy look so you can apply this on your lips that's it so one lip tint one uh, lip balm or lip gloss favorite lip gloss from essence and a setting spray it's a uh, body face and body mist and it has a this is from Fresh Skin Lab, their tomato face and body mist. That's it guys, right? So recap what you need in your kit. Brushes, face brush, blush brush, contour brush, contour brush for the nose, and your brow brush and eye blending brush. Then after your brushes, the makeup, so the makeup na. Moisturizer, foundation, concealer, powder, brow pencil, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, bronzer, blush, highlighter, and lipstick. So 12 products. And see guys, okay, I'll show it to you what's inside the kit. organize your makeup kit so if you have any questions or suggestions for my next video please comment down below please don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will know you'll get notified if i have a new video i hope you learned something today thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye, bye.